Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. Radar absorbing paint to enhance stealth capabilities of Indian fighter aircraft. In a significant technological advancement, the Defense Research and Development Organization Defense Laboratory in Jodhpur has successfully developed a radar absorbing paint designed to be applied on its own fighter aircraft and various platform. This groundbreaking innovation aims to reduce the radar signature of these aircrafts, enhancing their stealth capabilities and minimizing the detection capability of enemy radar. Next, production of STFE expandable engine. The gas turbine research or establishment that is GTRE, a division of the Defense Research and Development Organization has taken a significant step towards enhancing indigenous defense capabilities. GTRE has issued an expression of interest to select Indian industry partners for the production of STFE that is small turbofan engine expandable engine. Next, ISRO planning to bring back lunar samples. The ISRO is planning an ambitious mission to bring back soil or rock samples from the moon. The mission which is expected to be launched in 2028 will use the separate launch vehicles to carry four modules, transfer, lander, ascender and re-entry. Next. Tuskers will commemorate 75 years of its illustrious existence with a grand air show at Ambala. On November 24th, number 5 squadron of the Indian Air Force, affectionately known as the Tuskers, will commemorate 75 years of its illustrious existence with a grand air show at its home base in Ambala. This momentous occasion will serve as a testament to the squadron's unwavering commitment to excellence and its invaluable contribution to the nation's defense. Next, IAF carrying emergency aid for Gaza. A second Indian Air Force C-17 aircraft carrying 32 tons of aid for civilians in Gaza caught up in the ongoing Israel-Hamas war on Sunday departed for an El Arish airport in Egypt. Taking to his official handle on external affair, Minister S. Jaishankar reaffirmed New Delhi's commitment to extend humanitarian assistance to Gazans. Next, collaboration with Global OEMs DRDO Chief Samir V. Kamath has revealed that the first squadron of the MK's fifth generation called MK-1 will be powered by GE-supplied F-414 engines. However, a later squadron of upgraded MK called MK-2 will feature a new high-thrust weight class engine that will incorporate sixth generation technology. To develop this 6th generation engine, DRDO plans to collaborate with the foreign OEM to reduce development risk and expedite the process, aiming to complete development within 10 years. Next, Monitoring MOZAV Program Chief of Naval Staff Admiral R. Hari Kumar recently announced ongoing reviews regarding the potential integration of unmanned surveillance aircraft for carrier operations with, within the Indian Navy. The announcement came in the wake of the Royal Navy's successful trial of the largest ever uncrewed aircraft launched from an aircraft carrier code named Mozav. Next, a confirmation of Indigenous, test of indigenous developed submarine launched cruise missiles that is SLCM. At the recent international conference and exhibition on aerospace and aviation, 
in 2047 organized by the aeronautical society of india to commemorate its 75th year a significant milestone was unveiled india's indigenous development of submarine launch crews missile this breakthrough achievement showcases india's growing prowess in the realm of advanced defense technologies next mrag 155 wheeled self propelled howitzers for armenia in a significant development for india's defense industry bharat forge a leading Indian manufacturer of artillery systems has confirmed that the MARG 155 wheeled self propelled howitzers it recently showcased are destined for Armenia next jammer pod for LCA Mark 1A fighter aircraft the IAF is working on a project to develop an indigenous jammer pod for the home grown LCA Mark 1A fighter aircraft IAF official said on Saturday thank you